What's going on, everybody? Twinkie Timber Outdoors here with a quick review of the Frog Togs Skipper. So I bought these shoes to kind of be my all around get wet uh, boat shoe, but also at the same time like kicking around bass fishing or whatever. And um, there's some things I absolutely love about the shoes, but also some things that I would definitely change um, or seek out the manufacturer about. So first off, the shoes themselves came in at about $35 to $40, depending on where you got them. And the colors, I, I really like the appearance. Uh, I got compliments on them from uh, both down south and up, up north here. Um, they're super comfortable, as comfortable as any of my sneakers, if not more so. Very light, and um, you know the, the the sole and the uppers feel pretty substantial in that they feel like a good shoe, not going to blow out. However, day one, um, I had some stitching issues that um, I didn't really resolve. I just kind of you know cut and super glued, and then uh, day one I also drove for about eight hours and. Uh, I'm a heel uh, spinner on the in my car, and the right uh, sole popped off. This not the whole sole, but just these little accent parts, the little rubberized things here. Probably not a huge deal. However, um, I just took some Gorilla Glue, pressed them, and I had to stay in a hotel that night. Um, clamped them, and then they sh they were good to drive the next day. Uh, but still, they were literally hours new, and. That was the first time ever wearing them. Um, I was bummed, to say the least. But other than that, the uh, the, the shoes held up great. I've, this has been in sand, on on hikes, um, on pavement, uh, in the salt water, and in the uh, chlorinated pool water. Uh, I wasn't wearing them in there, but they just so happened to get wet during that time. And other than that, the rest of the shoe has been fine. Later in that trip though, however, um, I was just walking throughout the house, tripped over something and uh, scuffed the bottom and this bottom part again came off on the other foot. And so I don't know if it's just a weakness in the design on the bottoms, but again, I Gorilla glued it um, and maybe proactively you do that and you just kind of Gorilla glue the insides of the bottom here. Um, but realistically, I don't think you actually need this part because the rest of this looks like one piece, but uh, yeah. However, the, the, as, as far as the actual usability, the shoe is nice. Um, it, the, the one piece bottom apart from the aesthetic rubberized bits was nice. There's a little metal meshing on the bottom to prevent stuff from going up and into your foot. Um, dries really quickly, prevents odor really nicely. Um, the sole is very breathable. And that's the reason I kind of got these is to get them wet. And I like the shoe for a $35, $40 shoe it's solid um, however if you're willing to put up with occasional mixed dings and uh, fixes here and there it's probably worth your investment um, albeit a small one at that hopefully this was helpful for anybody looking to buy the skipper if it was please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel check out the other videos in the playlist and until next time guys catch you guys on the flip side tight lines and we're out